yo 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 what is up YouTube welcome back to another video it's your boy Rico um you know what I'm saying and uh, today we're gonna go ahead and go pick up um we're gonna go ahead and pick up my new hood for the for the Mustang um so yeah so um in case you guys don't know this is my Ford excursion of 2005 it's uh, Eddie Bauer 4x4. Uh, we recently just picked it up and got it back from the shop. We did a uh, bigger turbo, as you could hear, bigger turbo and ported heads. Um, we have yet to dyno it, so we don't know exactly how much uh, number wise it's pushing down and all that. But um, hopefully, we can pick it up real soon. <laughs> I can't look at people with my girlfriend on my head. Ah, it's so weird. All right, but like I was saying, uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go pick up the, uh... All right, guys, you know what time it is. Yes, sir. this turbo dude but yeah guys so uh right now what it's got done is bigger turbo ported heads and uh just a t uh, custom tune a street tune um we have yet to dyno it which i'm dying to take this thing to the dyno but um we're waiting a little bit to do that um another thing is we don't have an intake yet, we just ordered one. Uh, due to the plastic ones, the factory ones, since they're plastic. Um, how do I explain this? Uh, so basically, when you upgrade the turbo and you're making, pushing more boost in stock, uh, those tend to blow. The uh, stock intakes, plastic tends to just blow up. Um, and that's not the case that we want to deal with. So we ordered an aluminum one. And um, we're just waiting for that to come in. So we're trying not to get into boost so much, but it's pretty hard because like it's just so nice. Um, but yeah, so let me up update you guys on the Mustang. Uh, the Mustang, unfortunately, we had an accident in it. Um, I was leaving work at night and um, there's this lady that basically I was going and she just backed out of her parking lot fast and I didn't have enough time to break or anything. I tried to swerve but it didn't work out and it just destroyed my whole left end, my left front end. Uh, so I need, uh, the hood is supposed to be replaceable. The hood is supposed to be replaceable but I'm deciding just to get a new one and just take this opportunity to uh, just get a newer hood and bumper. Um, fenders to get, uh, my fenders could be, um, Supposedly they can like re uh, redense it back or whatever. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm just gonna get a new. I gotta get a new bumper for sure. Hood I could keep it, but I'm getting a new hood. That's what we're, this video is about. And then I gotta get uh, new headlights also. Um, for the headlights, what I'm thinking is I've seen the new, the OEMs and they're too expensive. We're talking about 12 grand or 1200, I believe it was like 12, 1300. And um, I'm not gonna spend 1300 uh, for headlights, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the, um, I forgot, I think the brand is like Multiform or something like that. It's the one that has like a little C, it's a C light. Uh, we're gonna just try that out. I've seen a couple pictures of it with the setup I'm going with, uh, with the hood and the bumper I'm going with. Um, I'll just tell you guys the hood. So the hood I'm getting is the Sereni 4 inch cow hood. Um, buying it from someone local from here in Miami, Florida. Um, it's black, it already came painted and that's the good thing. It paints the same exact color as my car. So that's a plus for me. So all I gotta do is boat it in, but unfortunately I don't have the car with me. So this video would just be about uh, buying and picking up the hood, all right? 
Um, but yeah, so once I get the car back, we're gonna go ahead and uh, install the hood and all that, and I'll definitely make a video on that. Um, but yeah, guys, so yeah, I'm gonna get the C light headlights and then the bumper. I'll keep it as like a little secret, I guess. You guys will just I'll surprise you guys on it. Um, and then we'll go from there. I hope you guys gonna. I hope you guys are enjoying the build so far. Even though I haven't done so much, and I'm so sorry for being inactive. Uh, just been been hard with uh, school and not having any video ideas. Uh, so you guys drop some comments down below and let me know uh, what uh, like what uh, videos you guys want to see reviews. Uh, hopefully my boy's gonna let me review his full bolts on Z85 Z01. Uh, so I'm pretty excited for that um, And then also um, as you guys most of you guys know I am moving to Orlando for school for university uh, UTI So I'm moving up there for that in June around the June July So if you guys would like to see a vlog of me moving up there and all that comment down below And then I'm thinking of either pro charging it or turboing it single turbo once I move up there, you guys let me know down below what you guys prefer. Um, the turbo kit is pretty, I believe it's the BBR, I think it is. Uh, single kit or something like that. And then the Pro Charge or the Critical Supercharger, I'm thinking of going with Pro Charger or Vortex. Uh, or Paxton. Paxton's good as well, I just don't know. I just don't know the difference of the models and all that. So if you guys got a. Uh, if you guys know about all those modern stuff, comment down below which one uh, I should get. And I still want to daily the vehicle. I still want to daily the 5.0. Um, I want to make 650, 700 with it as a daily. And then have a kill tune on it, like overkill tune if I ever need to, you know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Lens of the Mustang as of right now. And then for everything else, I'll let you guys know after, you know. But just... Uh, get those items put on and then go from there and also just want to let you guys know once I get there just to respect the owner of the house the owner of the hood and all that I'm not gonna record there uh, I'm just gonna pick it up and then on my way home I'll just tell you guys the details on it and stuff like that um, but yeah guys so once I uh, pick it up I'll get back to you guys and let you guys know what's uh, what's up with it and how I found the hood and all that right Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? Uh, it's the next day. Um, I picked up the hood. Uh, here it is. There's the hood. The Serenity's 4-inch cow's hood. Um, not bad at all. Only thing it has is one little rock chip. But that's easy, easily touchable. Um, everything else is perfect. Um, I can't wait to see this thing on the car. It's gonna be pretty badass. It's gonna be badass. Definitely gonna be badass. Um, I would show you guys on there, but it's only me right now. I can't like film and pick it up at the same time. I don't want to risk it sliding, just falling and cracking. None of that. So uh, yeah. So like I said earlier or yesterday, this video is just me picking up the uh, the hood and taking it home and going from there. All right. So I uh, just want to say thank you guys for tuning in today. Uh, hopefully you guys come back again and just uh, stay with me throughout the whole build of the Mustang. And uh, see you guys the next one, right? Peace.